Today we are going to be covering a pretty big topic when it comes to van life, which is how are you going to keep your cabinets and your drawers shut in your van. Now we've been through many iterations of this and we have found what works best, so we're going to share that with you today. And today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. <laughs> We haven't done a video in a few weeks because we are busy wrapping up this van. If you guys really loved our last video about van layouts, if you missed it, there'll be a link down below that you can click on to watch it. And we have so many of you guys joining the van layout guide right now. It's so fun to see everybody in our private Facebook group, which again, we'll link down below if you want to join. I think there's like 550 people in just the private Facebook group right now, which is so much fun to see everybody's van builds and, and see how everyone is taking the floor plans from the van layout guide and implementing it into their own van conversions. So just wanted to say that before we jump into today's topic. Now I'm getting real pregnant over here, as you can see. So sorry if I sound out of breath. Honestly, women know this when you're pregnant, it's it really hard to breathe. So apologize in advance for that. So this is a really big topic like we talked about because it is the worst driving down the road and having a cabinet fly open and all of your stuff fall out on the floor. So you want to try to avoid that as much as possible in a van. You guys have asked this before, how do we keep our cabinets and our doors and drawers shut in a van? Because as you can tell, you can't see anything from the outside. So for uppers and lowers, we use two different things. For upper cabinets, pretty simple, there's actually just a magnetic little latch here. So you have the magnet and then a little metal piece that you install on the front of the cabinet and that really holds you shut. I will also link the pneumatic hinges that we use. You guys ask that quite a bit too. These ones are rated for 20 pounds so they hold really nicely and you can kind of hear that like catch at the end. That's the magnet really catching the front of the door and you do have to use some force here to kind of pull it open. So those work great up there. Now we used to recommend these plastic latches for the lowers and drawers and they actually worked very well for us but we found over time with clients they tend to break because they are plastic so we found a better solution than these. These aren't terrible but they aren't the best. So if you have these and you're you know they're breaking all the time we found a better solution. So they are metal and it has these two little balls in the middle and then the other piece that you install on the front just goes and catches in there. Now one of the great things about this is you can actually tighten how tight the tension is on the balls. So if they aren't tight enough, you can actually adjust that, which we really like that these ones are adjustable. Makes a huge difference. And they're really pretty easy to install. I'm actually gonna show you guys how I install these on some drawers today. We have a couple more to do. We're almost done with this van. So I'm gonna show you how I install these, my little trick for making sure you line the two pieces up, you know, in the right spot so that it actually catches because these ones don't have adjustments when it comes to where your screw holes are. So you're going to want to make sure you get it perfectly. Otherwise it's not going to work. So we love these again, they're adjustable, they're metal, so they're not going to break like the plastic ones. And again, everything will be linked down below. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how I am installing one of these little guys on this back door in the back. So obviously we don't want this flying open while they're driving. So I went ahead and marked the two little holes here. I figured out where I want it, centered it, and just put that up there and marked with my pencil where I'm gonna drill my two holes. So we're gonna start with that. Now we've got that guy on there. You're gonna go ahead and pop this guy on, which sometimes is easier said than done. Okay, that's on there. Now here's my special trick magic eraser what you're gonna do this is hard to do one-handed with the left hand is make a mark at the top oh, I just got the white paint and a mark at the bottom and then you're gonna slam the door shut or the drawer and really try to hit <laughs> right where that latches and hopefully Oh, we got a little line. And so you just hope you get enough to see where that circle is. So you can kind of see if I pull this off, that was the top part of it. 
and we're gonna be right at the edge on this one. So I've got enough there that I can go ahead and do this and it'll line up great. You can kind of see down here too, I have a little bit of a red mark so I can line those two up and figure out where I need to be. A lot of this time, this is kind of a weird door, but it works a lot better, obviously, with a normal kind of cabinet, because this one has this inset a little bit. We are gonna be right at the edge. So, because I got just enough to make this happen, line it up. And again, you really wanna make sure you're spot on with this or you'll be off. Trace your little holes, like so. And then you just, fingers crossed, you hope and you pray that it works out. And now that we got it on, for the moment of truth, did we line it up? We sure did. There you have it, there is my little trick for lining it up. My good old magic eraser, dry erase, whatever the <laughs> magic eraser, that's Mr. Clean. These are dry erase markers. And then again, you can adjust these if it doesn't feel tight enough. And go ahead and just tighten these. But this one's actually feeling really good because I pre-tightened it a little bit already. I don't want it to be too hard to do, so. Done, look at that seamless finish. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and all of this information we're sharing today is actually linked down below in a blog post which is built on our Squarespace website. One of our favorite features about Squarespace is how easy it is to have a beautiful functional blog on your website. There's no extra plugins required and you can add all sorts of stuff to your blog posts so easily with their drag and drop editor. You can add videos, photos, Amazon affiliate links, and you can easily create tags and categories to organize your blog and make it really easy for people to find stuff. So in the blog post down below, you'll see we have links to these products on Amazon. If you do click on those links, we make a small commission through Amazon's affiliate program. And again, that integrates seamlessly into Squarespace's backend. I didn't have to do any extra coding to have those beautiful links there for you guys. If you want to try out Squarespace, head to squarespace.com for a free two-week trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace so much for sponsoring today's video. Hopefully this helps you guys figure out how to keep all those doors and drawers shut in your van so that you don't have stuff flying all over. And if you've been using the plastic ones and you have them breaking, definitely be sure to check out these heavy duty, heavy duty metal ones. Especially these are great for heavy drawers and all that because again, they have the adjustable little thing on the end. If you have any comments or questions, drop them down below. And that's it for now. Cool. See you guys next time. Bye.